Alright, back again Luke here, and today we've got out the old Atari Jaguar, and I figured we could put in this game here, Rayman. So, let's pop this in and play some of that. Now for those of you who already know about the old Atari Jaguar, uh, it has a uh, really bad reputation for having some really poorly designed games. But, this is actually one of those games that is good. Uh, it's one of the games that was released to show off the power of the Jaguar. And uh, it actually looks really great. Uh, fantastic game. Got that offbeat there at the beginning. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, this one really does show off the, the power that this thing, you know, had at the time that could have been utilized a little bit better. Granted, it's only using a, a lot of 2D, but still looks fantastic. And we'll let the storyline go through here. It's got a bit of a storyline. And there's our intro. So, let's uh, choose a spot here. And at the beginning, let's see, we can just put in some initials. And uh, once you go forward here, you can press the, uh, the second button or the B button to uh, advance into the next letter. The C button will bring you backwards, so. Alright, so let's give it a go. And our first place here, the Pink Planet Woods. But uh, graphically here, just a beautiful game. Uh, for the B button, B button is your jump. Uh, the A button or the C button, I'm trying to remember, one of these is going to be your special attack here. Once, uh, once you get it. Unfortunately, at the beginning, you're just kind of getting used to the controls here. Not really doing too much, except for that. Free guy. Some power, even though we didn't really need it. It's got some pretty good sound effects to it. But uh, the music, you know, it's not something that's super memorable. If you want to turn the music off, you can press the start button here, and uh, you can change the music down by pressing the C button, and the music will disappear. Or you can do the same thing with the uh, sound effects if you want to change the sound effects down. You can adjust it in-game, which is kind of nice. Or you can also press the uh, zero on the number, number pad, and you can see it's taken the, uh, the music away. And we'll turn it back on here. But uh, just a wonderful, really beautiful uh, palette of colors that they used in this game. Extremely
extremely bright and vibrant. Quite a few, um, quite a bit of uh, replay value to the game, as you have to go back through some stages and get uh, free the little guys once you get certain items. Let's see here. I'm trying to remember. There we go. <laughs> and this should be a little bonus stage here. So. Try and collect as many of these as we can. See if we can get them all. I don't think we can, no. Oh, there we did. Nice. There's a little free guy down there at the bottom. Bingo! <laughs> so it does have some really good replay value. And if you've never played some of the earlier Rayman games, uh, Rayman games, this is definitely one to get started on. As there are some other games that you can get uh, that are very similar, which is the Sega Saturn version. I believe it might even be the same? Not sure. Uh, once you get uh, the ability to hang, you can uh, climb up those kind of places there. These guys will attack you, and unfortunately, like, since we don't have any way of protecting ourselves, one hit right there and we'll be hurting a bit. It's kind of funny. Whee! For those of you who have never played a Rayman game, they are quite quirky, quite funny, really uh, amazing games, actually, I think. For, for the time when they were designed, they're really great. I think many people, for the most part, have played a lot of... Uh, here's our first power up here. This will be our punch shot. So we got our first uh, attack weapon here, which you can kind of hold down. This is really useful for trying to get up to high or difficult places. This is definitely needed, <laughs> you know. But, um... Yeah, what was I going to say? I think a lot of people nowadays are pretty familiar with the Rayman games, Rayman games for the PS Vita or maybe later consoles. But uh, the definite earlier ones are still wonderful. No doubt about it. Another free guy there. And like I mentioned, there aren't a whole lot of games out there that are it's completely mind-blowing for the uh, the Jaguar. And you just go to yourself, wow, this is a amazing game. But uh, this is one of them. This guy here will allow us to get some power-ups. Could get one down there too, but... The comedy factor of it too is always great. Really funny. Punch the fish here. A very easy to get into game. Um, even if you've never played it before, it's really simple to pick up and just be able to play, no problem. funny how the uh, the bullets there do that <laughs> but uh, if you do come across this game nowadays you're probably looking at maybe about a hundred dollars or so for it um, it's going up in value and uh, it's it's one of those games where it's getting difficult to find complete uh, so even a loose copy of this will work it'll be good enough um, unless you're someone who really wants to have the whole the whole setup, which for some games it, it can be a little bit tricky. Jaguar games are definitely one of those games that are starting to become very expensive and uh, therefore finding a complete copy of a game is going to run you a lot more than if you just find a loose copy of it. 
So. But if you can find a loose copy of this one, this one's one to, to have for sure. But the effort that they put into this game is uh, quite amazing. Thinking about some of the other games that they have for the system where um, they just really didn't put all that much effort into it. Kasumi Ninja is a, a pretty interesting game. It looks really good, but unfortunately, Kasumi Ninja is just really brutal. It's, it's hard to play, so... But, uh, here we can go to a save spot. We can save our game progress. And then we can move on to the next stage here. And if we... Let's see... Um, if we uh, go back too far, it'll take us out of the stage, so... I don't think I can grab hold of that one. What else can be said about this game? Um, yeah, well, like I said, really easy to control. Great colors, uh, some really nice looking uh, animation for the bosses and different stages as well. This is uh, a boss right here. just gonna keep punching here until he dies. You can punch him when he's on the ground as well. You just gotta have uh, good timing because if not he'll hit you. That's pretty funny how Raymond doesn't kill anyone. Rayman's a friend of the insects. <laughs> Very similar uh, to Bonk's adventure, where he's just like, you know, beats down the enemy. It's like, hey, guy, this one's uh, one of the cooler stages here, a little flying stage. You just got to be careful here. It's got some good good music, good little beat to it. But uh, just got to watch out for falling objects and things. Oh, and if, uh, yeah, if you lose all your power there, you die, so, <laughs> kind of common sense, but... They're pretty generous with, uh, giving power around this area, so... Kind of got that Flight of the Bumblebee type thing going on there. <laughs> stage there and here's our next power-up which will allow us to hang from uh, stuff and this is where the uh, difficulty kind of goes up just a little bit more in uh, some of the following stages here it gets really really hectic because you have to start uh, climbing very quickly so uh, some places here, I don't think it, it can be really difficult to try and get a hold of uh, or a grasp on the uh, side there if you're not exactly dead on, so. I'm trying to 
think maybe this one's the difficult one. Yeah, this one is difficult. As you can see, we've got our cave guy here, caveman, caveman Rayman, who gives us some magic, magic seeds. Tarazan. <laughs> So this is uh, the difficult part. You have to do this part very quickly because the water below is going to start creeping up. And now if you don't put these uh, seeds down here in a very uh, good spot, you wind up dying. They have to be in a kind of like towards the edge. This is gonna be maybe deadly. Come on. Ooh. There's a couple of spots here where if you put the seed down in the wrong spot, you'll die, so. Let's see here. Yeah, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Quickly! We go and this one's a little trick one there if you uh... Ooh, there's a free guy that'll pop out that's ah, not worth it <laughs> if you put a seed there like uh, you think it's not uh, enough space you wind up dying so you just got to be kind of careful but all sorts of great animation sequences in this game here as you can see here We could use that power. Maybe we'll go and give it a shot. Oops, I need that. Yeah, luckily it'll come back. So hopefully it'll come back. Nope, I guess not. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, nonetheless, just wanted to show you guys a little bit of a look at what Rayman looks like here for the Atari Jaguar. Uh, fantastic game, and uh, definitely one to have if you do have a Jaguar system. But uh, that's about all for me for right now. Like always, I'll put up another video here soon, so thanks for watching. Oh, I wanted to get that too. Oh well. Ah, can I get it? I might as well. Maybe I should try. Get those little guys down there. Maybe I can't. Ah, there's that's where it's at. Uh, I see. No! Wrong way! <laughs> Not the way that I wanted it. Hopefully that one will disappear and the other one will... Nope, it's still there. No! Alright. Well, it looks like I'm going to have to go back a little bit further here in order for that to disappear. As well as the other one, so I can... A little bit tricky here. Sometimes you make one simple mistake and uh, it can cost you a bit. There we go. Now we can get the little guys. Unfortunately, can't climb. Or can't jump right up that way. Clear out this stage here. Do 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 do. This part really reminds me a lot of uh, was it Mickey's Magical Adventure? 
Hopefully that'll pop back up. Yep. If you played Mickey's Magical Adventure for the uh, Super NES, it's kind of what it reminds me of, this section here. Could have gotten a couple of, couple of things up there at the top, but that's all right. Mosquito's nest. I think this one has quite a few different passages that you can go through as well. A lot of secrets throughout it. <laughs> I think we'll just end it right there. Thanks for watching.